So I came down here to the Wally State Park. And I'm dying to get some photos if I haven't been able to get out much. Uh, but I'm just looking around. There's, it's called Twin Falls as well. There's some falls up the river away. And, uh, but I'm just looking around, seeing what I can find. Uh, you can see here, just like at the river. And you can see that little leaf right there. Or you just zoom in, kind of. And then that's your composition. You know, just something simple, basic. It's pattern, it's color. And we'll just leave it at that, see where it takes me today. So now I'm just scanning the river, just looking for different compositions, different. You know, you can see, look, I got some green. I maybe use that green kind of as my subject. Something like that. You can see, you know, turn the polarizer to get the proper exposure that you need. Something like that. And it's just simple and easy. So now I just put on the 75 to 300 millimeter zoom lens. I'm trying to see what I can get with that. And I rarely use it just because it's not that easy. You know, I always have to zoom in on everything. And, uh, but it's something I really need to practice with. So no reason not to practice when I'm out here by myself just doing my own thing and I'll zoom in real quick and see what I can get and it just started hail slash snowing on me so that's kind of cool maybe I can get up skiing soon so I just switched back to my wide angle lens to walking down the trail eventually I'm going to find the fall but I don't quit stopping uh, and then it's just yeah, this is the green, lush everywhere. Now we've had lots of rain. Uh, unfortunately, it's really tough to photograph because it's just so busy. Uh, you can see, just found some more river. Ooh, looks kind of treacherous to get down to. Let me spin my polarizer, see if I can do something here. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll skip this spot. It's not looking that easy to get down to. You can see, certainly in the falling down today. So, I'm gonna keep moving. See if I can find the falls. Hopefully, hold my camera straight. It's on my tripod, a little wonky, but that's all right. So, get there, see what I can find. Well, the weather just turned on me a bit more. More hailish now, so I threw the raincoat on the camera. Of course, I don't have a raincoat for myself. I left that in the car. I got my buffy. That's good enough. It's not that far back in the car. If I get, if the weather turns too bad. So, actually, I'm almost in the falls. Climbing up the trail here. Should be there in a few minutes. See what I can get. So these are the falls at the very top. There's two more sets below me. But I don't know quite know what it's called. Twin falls when there's actually three or four sets of falls, but. Whatever, that's what they named it. So I'm heading down now. I got a few photos of the falls. And, uh, see how they turn out when I get home. These are the middle falls. They're similar to the upper ones. So I'll zoom out a little bit. See that one just above it. Uh, I'll head down the lower falls and see how those look. Now this is a cool waterfall. It starts there, goes down, and it splits into two. Maybe that's why it's called Twin Falls. So this is it. I don't know why the camera's not focusing. But I can get it to focus a little bit here. There it goes. So, and it just comes out. So I'm gonna head down to the bottom, see if I can get some good photos of it. Long exposure, get some movement in the water. See how it goes. This is, this is Pacific Northwest. And these waterfalls are everywhere. It's just such a spectacular area when it comes to these. So, just could not find a good route down to the bottom of the big falls there. So you can see I tried to get over there. That's what I'm trying to deal with. You can see the falls back there. So, I've got some shots of this. 
some close-up shots and I'm work my way back slowly to the car and I hope I get a few more shots but I'll see what I can come up with. So I don't know what down. I just randomly saw some patches of trees and I've seen some effects with cameras that people do so I'd give them a shot. So one of them I did was uh, I zoomed while it was taking a shot. I was on a 0.6 second uh, shutter speed. Uh, and then another one was I tilted the camera up while it was taking the photo. So it just gives some good, cool photos. I'll post them at the end of the video here. So, I'm pretty much done. Just on my way back to the car. I'll get home and edit them and get the video up.